This is meteorologist Eric Hayden with the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York. We've had a pretty wimpy winter so far, but some extreme cold is headed our way for the weekend. As that cold air arrives Friday night, we will have some snow squalls. We're not talking a major storm, a couple of inches of snowfall. However, it could fall in a short period of time, and that will cause some dangerous travel Friday night. This will be the coldest air since last February, so big concerns for frozen pipes, frostbite, and hyperthermia. And those dangerous wind chills all day Saturday, right through Saturday night. As far as the timing for snow squalls go, it looks like it will first arrive across the Finger Lakes roughly after 6 o'clock toward midnight, Binghamton and Norwich, and still some question, will they hold together down into northeast Pennsylvania? If they do so, folks down in Hazleton, Wilkesbury, uh, roughly after midnight on Friday night. The cold air will be the big story this weekend. High temperatures Saturday likely to occur very early in the day. Temperatures fall during the afternoon, so a lot of us, especially in New York State, may end up in the single digits below zero by late afternoon. Cold temperatures only tell half the story. They will combine with a bitter wind that will create dangerously cold wind chill values, roughly between minus 20 and minus 10 degrees across our area during the day Saturday, perhaps as cold as minus 30 up near Boonville. It doesn't get any better on Saturday night into Sunday morning. Actual air temperatures below zero everywhere, approaching minus 20 in some spots. So again, if you have not shut off your outside water and done some extra ins insulating of pipes, things that you usually do for the winter, now is the time to do so. One thing to keep in mind with that wind continuing through Saturday night, wind chill values will be extremely dangerous, minus 20 to minus 40 degrees across the area. And with that wind, again, a little bit of cold air getting into your house can cause problems. So certainly want to know how to shut that water off if you do encounter frozen pipes Saturday night into Sunday. Lots of things to think about. We haven't had much of a winter thus far. Here's some basic tips. You want to minimize travel if you can. If you are headed outside, wear lots of loose-fitting, lightweight clothing. And you can get more tips at ready.gov slash winter weather. If you do have to ha travel, it's not a bad idea to have an emergency kit. The thing you definitely want this weekend, extra hat, mittens, gloves, a jacket, and boots in your car if you do break down during the extreme cold. Don't forget you can always get updates like these online and subscribe to our YouTube channel, NWS Binghamton.